Of talk this week about the nearly $2 billion Route 81 construction project planned for Syracuse in the coming years. But News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski shows us right now what's happening to keep city streets drivable. We've actually become so used to potholes around here caused by all that freezing and thawing and constant pounding these streets take that many drivers just know how to swerve, weave, and zigzag around them. That said, DPW crews like here in Syracuse do everything they can to fill as many of them as possible. The city uses a complaint-driven system, whether from the mayor, councilors, or people who live here to figure out which streets to target each day. And the better we get at this, um, the less phone calls we're going to yeah. get. So we're definitely seeking to improve any way we can. One of the city's Durapatcher machines has been out. The other should be ready now that the weather has improved to use next week. It blows out water and stone in each pothole and then uses a hot emulsion stone mix to make for nearly permanent fixes for these pesky potholes, which to date, there's just not a way to count how many there are on city streets. Once we get kind of the GPS and the equipment and all the sensors fine-tuned, the goal is to be able to count it, but that's only when you're using the Dura Patcher. Besides the Dura Patchers, the city also has a couple of hot patch crews out to do bigger areas like this and here. Just shovel it out of the back of a truck, put it down, maybe roll it, tamp it down. They are always looking for new ways to tackle this pothole problem. We really wanted to have a dedicated force year-round, and so July 1st, we put it in the budget that we're going to have five people that are dedicated to potholes year-round. Obviously, uh, if there's call-outs, that would change, but we really wanted to put more effort into that. Fordock says there's always room for improvement, even with this nearly impossible problem to solve. Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. And as we get into spring, asphalt plants are opening, including the city's own. So the longer lasting hot mix can be used to fill potholes as opposed to the cold patch available in winter, which is a very temporary fix at best.